up? I'm Colleen and welcome to my channel. I'm just a girl who's enthusiastic about makeup and positivity. When I say positivity, I mean bringing people up, not pushing people down. Being mean is not cool. Awesome people are not mean, so be kind all the time. So welcome to another uh, Pick a Color collab that was started by the awesome Amethyst Winters. I'm so excited to be a part of this collab. I look forward to this collab every month. It's so much fun. Um, it's Amethyst Winters, me, Desi from Desi's Corner, Naomi from Beauty Jeans by Naomi, Andy from, from Beauty with Andy, Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock, Lisa from Banny Panning and Beyond, and Teresa from Teresa Ann 83. So it's such a great group of ladies. It's so much fun. It's eight of us now, and it's really cool. Quick little rundown. I'm sure you all know. We each pick a color. Um, it can be any color, just the color that we pick. And we have to use all eight of those colors. It used to be on just on our eyes, but now as the collab has gotten bigger, it can be anywhere on our face, but we have to use all of the colors. You cannot omit any colors. You can't add colors if you want to like enhance the look, but you cannot not include someone's color. So this is always a lot of fun because you really do, it can get you out of your comfort zone and it really does get you to think because sometimes there's some color stories that you're like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. But in the end, we all end up doing something so much fun. So it's really, really cool. So for this month, we made Naomi's dreams come true and we tried to stick with a cool toned story, which was awesome. It's really, actually this, month, this month's color story is really pretty. I'm pretty excited. So I will stop talking. I'm going to show you that and then we'll get into creating the look. So Andy from Beauty with Andy picked a like a duochrome olive. So I decided to go with Lorena Makeup's Antique uh, Multi Curl. It looks like this. I know it does pull a little bit of red, but it really does pull a lot of like a greenishy olive color. And then Teresa picked a um, a shimmery white. So I'm going with Love Lux Beauty's uh, Sparkle Lights in the color Flicker. Go like that. Miss Jennifer picked a mint green. So I'm going into my e.l.f. Mini Melt palette. And I'm going into the green right here. And then I actually picked a cool toned brown. And the color I actually picked was from Dandelion Cosmetics. And it's called Shiitake. And it looks like this. And then Desi picked Neon Green. So I'm going in with Terra Moon's Neverland. And then Lisa picked a silver. So I'm going in with Tracy's Powder Room uh, SC Sterling Snowflake, which is one of the most beautiful silvers that I've ever seen. And then Naomi picked navy blue, and I'm actually going in with this single that I got from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And then Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock picked ocean blue, so I'm actually going to use that as my waterline color. And I'm going, when, going in with LA Girls Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the color Electric. So this is the color story that I am working with and I am super excited. I think it's really pretty. I sort of have an idea of what I'm going to do, but that might change as we go along. So let's get into creating a look. So I'm going to start off with the color that I picked, the brown, the shiitake, and I'm going to put that in my crease. These are those new mattes that um, Dandelion Cosmetics put out a couple of weeks ago. It was probably over a month ago now. And they're just so pretty. This is my first purchase from Dandelion Cosmetics and I was not disappointed. I was actually really impressed. So 
So now that I've got the shiitake on, I'm actually going to go into the uh, Sparkle Lights Color and Flicker. And I'm going to put that in my brow bone area. I'm sorry that squeaked when I opened it. I'm actually going to spritz my um, brush with a little water before I pick up the loose pigment just to give it something to stick to. I don't know if this will be a good idea, but we'll see together. <laughs> oh yeah, it worked. This might be a little more sheer than Teresa had intended, so I apologized. Try and build the opacity up a little bit to make it more white. So I'm just gonna go in and uh, just cut my crease. Sorry, I'm not very talkative in this video. I just realized I'm kind of being really quiet. There's no rhyme or reason about it other than I'm just not talking. There's nothing really new going on with me. I mean, there really never is. I don't live a very exciting life, <laughs> which is cool. I mean, Especially now. I mean, what's really there to be? We're still kind of in quarantine-ish, you know. It's cool. Hope you guys are having a nice week so far. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take a few of the colors and I want to line them up on my lid where I put the concealer. Not concealer, I put P. Louise base. So I'm going to start with the... No. So I'm going to start with the Olive Green Shift from Lorena Makeup. Then I'm going to go into the mint green. And now into the navy blue. So now I just cut, put this brush through a color switch and I'm just going to kind of go in on the ends where they meet and just try and smooth them out a little bit. I mean, it's not going to be a super smooth transition between the three colors, but it looks like that. So something I always do, and I'll never not do this, is because... I have no idea. I always do like when I'm trying to center like a color on my eyes, I never center them evenly. It's I, <laughs> does anyone else do that? Or is that literally just a stupid, stupid thing that I do? And it's kind of more noticeable with this look because <laughs> the green stands out more. That's okay. I mean, it's sort of driving me crazy. Like I tried to fix it, but like it just, it, it's, it's over just it also could be my one eye droops more a little more. I don't know. But yeah, I do that all the time whenever I'm like trying to do like a halo eye or something. Then 
<laughs> the one eye is just like a little bit not centered. <laughs> That's when you know you're not a professional makeup artist. You're like a enthusiast. <laughs> So Andrea picked the ocean blue. So I'm going to go with my eyeliner in my waterline. I am not good doing this with one hand, so I will be right back. So now that's on. And then Desi had picked the neon green. And I thought that the neon green would be really fun as a pop of color under my lower lash line. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to spritz the brush with some water again, just because um, I do find neons, they are powdery. So I do just want it to have like a little bit of some, I don't know, <laughs> maybe it'll help it stick more. It's really what I, my theory is. Cause they are super fun, but they do love to brush away to nothing. Like I always find the best way to do, um, neons is more of a pack and not a blend, but I'm definitely going to have to brush a little off because it's kind of looks a little weird. No, not actually. It's not bad. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to go into the sterling color that Lisa picked. And that color I'm using from Tracy's Powder Room. What I love about these challenges too is like, because it's such an, a wide array of colors, you get to like kind of go through your palettes and your single shadows and kind of just pick out a whole bunch of like shadows and stuff that you may have not used in a while. And it just... It's fun. It's fun to be able to do that. And I really, really enjoy this collab. <laughs> so this is my finished look right here. I really, really like it. I Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this look came out. I think it's pretty. I wear like a really colorful shirt, not on purpose, but like it ended up actually going with this look really well, which was kind of funny. But yeah, I don't hate this at all. I think it was a lot of fun. I really loved all the colors that everyone chose this month. So it was really fun to put them together in a look. Um, you missed off camera when I was putting my, my mascara on. I poked myself in the eye and my eye too. And it still kind of burns a little bit. That's so much fun. Does anyone else like do that? At least like, I haven't done it recently, but at least like once a month, sometimes more, I poke myself in the eye with my mascara wand. And it's just so much fun. <laughs> so anyway, as you'll notice in the title of this video there's a hashtag that says select a shade if you click on that hashtag it'll bring up all the videos from the women that were in this collab this way it makes it very easy for you to view everyone's videos when you have the chance because you definitely want to check out everyone's videos because these women are totally awesome i'm so lucky to be working with such a cool group of women in this collab once again thank you so much jennifer for inviting me in this collab i look forward to it every month so thank you so, so much. So anyway, my Celestial Cupcakes, that is it for this video. So if you liked this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you really, really like this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you want to do neither one of those things, that is totally fine. I get it. I know I am not one of the cool kids. I mean, I can't do my eyes evenly. <laughs> but thank you anyway for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. I will still send you tons of happy thoughts and positive vibes your way just for stopping by. So thank you. As always, I will have everything that I'm wearing on my face as well as my Twitter and Instagram handles listed below in case you'd like to follow me there. I post pictures of looks that I do not film as well as pictures of my pets and I think they are adorable but of course we are all biased when it comes to our fur babies but oh well. So anyway from one makeup lover to another I hope you guys have a fantastic day and remember be you do you love you. Bye!